Loading. You don't want to know how many hours I played this as a child. Uh, it was my first actual PS station game that I was able to pick. I got for Christmas as soon as it came out. And then every time a new game came out, like the next year, I of course got that for Christmas. Uh, okay, let's just... I've already agreed to all this before. I understand everything here. Oh! That new music! Alrighty. Well, we're gonna start with Spyro 1. We're gonna try and do at least a, um, a world per stream. So we're starting the Artisan World! Artisan Realm. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat? Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Huh? Looks like I've got some things to do. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I hear that the controls are pretty much the same because they, they actually use emulators to tell everything, but... Because... There we go. And that should be better for me. There we go. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Get going with this. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh. His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Uh, I hate this this little flight world, but. I think I could do that last one without looking. Alright, let's see how horrible I am. I'm not gonna do 100%. There's no way I can. <laughs> Alright, let's try at least. I suck at these. I suck at these. Oh! Oh, good. That went actually pretty well. 
shockingly well. Oh god, no! <laughs> I went down instead of up. <laughs> god damn it! Ah, we're off to a good start. Alright, let's do those not for. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh god, I'm missing now! Was there one in the middle? I can't remember. Yeah, there is. Oh god! <laughs> I hit that and it knocked me a little. Oh god. No, I don't like the water. I don't want to go in the water, please. Oh god, no! Oh god! <laughs> I got caught at it for a second there. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Ah, oh, shit. Oh shit, if I wasn't such a bad fucking aimer. Really? Really? Oh! I wasn't going down, I went up, but okay. Uh, this is why I don't like these. I suck at the flying levels. I promise, I do so much better at everything else but the flying levels. What the fuck? Alright, I got dripped out of that one. Oh god, when you go down, you just still go down and you can't pull up. Alright. Alright, I got it. Let's try this again. Start here. Oh god. Yeah, when you go down. Ah, god damn it, I missed it again. When you go down, you go down. There is no... No alternative. So it's like, you gotta prepare to pull up a lot faster. Than you are thinking you have to. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Come on, I need a plane, I need a plane, I need a plane! Oh! Oh well. No, thank you. Do you. Thank God these um, levels are not mandatory. <sighs> I was never good at the flying ones. I'm not going to spend all day here trying to do them. Come back here! Seriously? God damn it! Ah, oh, the rust is real.
Did I get all the jumps here? Yes, I did. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. Ah! I am not used to the analog stick. But uh, every time I try to go and use the, uh, the little tiny directionals, I fuck up. So it's like... And then I instantly go right back to fucking using the analog. I oh, got This is gonna take some time to get used to. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And... and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Of course, it's oh, from the bard. God. Pretty sure I should have got him. Ugh, come here. Really? Gotcha. Oh god, the rust. I am really rusty. <laughs> Ah, oh, I used to be so good at this, I could speedrun it as a kid. I could have sworn I grabbed that last one off that dude. Guess not. Oh shit, nope! I forgot that sparrow used to be super cute dragon. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but Skylanders kind of fucked him up. He looked like he did a lot of mess. Bear with me if I take a while to do stuff. My controls... I am not used to using the analog, and I am very rusty. Alright, let's get going. Oh god. The analog, you feel like you turn a lot slower too. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Instead, it was the L2 and R2 buttons. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I hit you with my horn! I had heard a lot of people are saying that this game is harder than the original. I just think it's that we forgot how hard the game actually was, because these have the same controls, it's, everything is the same. Tan Tan would hug the dragon. What, no subtitles? Uh, don't think there's subtitles. I like smacking into walls. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. That is the you best cake. know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? See a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded.
Ah, oh, shit! I didn't make it. How am I not making it? I used to be able to make it. This is how you're supposed to do this jump! Um... Thank you. All right. All right, buddy, you want to play that way? Got gotcha. you. <laughs> Here we go again. I don't know why I'm not making this jump. There we go. It's weird that I can control my camera. <laughs> You think there'd be subtitles? Thank you for no? releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. Well, maybe there is. Let's see. Oh, it's going to camera. Nope. Nope. Nothing. His turns are a lot more solid when you're, um, when you're charging with this button instead. Oh, this used to be one of my favorite levels. What am I watching? Spyro Reignited Trilogy! My childhood. So many hours. Uh. Spyro, wanna know a secret? 
You've never heard of Spyro! Oh my god, golly. This is the first game ever. It was first originally created by Insomniac, which Toys for Boz basically went to him asking for their permission to go with this and make this game. Kind of bowing before them, may we make this game? Yes, yes you may. Oh shit! See, I'm used to making a lot of these moves without seeing where I'm going because the camera was very slow and you couldn't control the con camera back then. This is why I'm not charging everywhere, also, my controls. Ah! Ah shit, I did it again. I tried to make a jump without looking where I was going. And I did it again instantly right after. This this whole thing with the camera is gonna be the bane of my existence. He's got the hops. Yes, he prances about. He's adorable. I love Spyro. I wish they had like a stuffy of him. Not they do, but it's of the uh the methadone Spyro from um what is that? game. Skylanders. Ugh. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. This actually is gonna be a, a cute little game for Clay to play. It's not too violent, there's no real blood. Although in the original, these guys had, um, blood on the tips of their swords. Ow! Hmm, risky, bold move, Cotton. I actually paid off with that. You didn't get that one. Sparks, you were too busy eating! Oh god, I missed! Eh, yeah, let's get that frog. Oh cool, that's an- that's an- another life one. No, it wasn't. Enemies like this Nork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame that should defeat them. Skylander Spyro is basically Teen Ink Spyro. I wouldn't know. I stay far away from Skylanders. Like I played the um the other Spyro games. Oh yeah, the controls are so much better when you're using the uh, diagonal instead of the uh, analog stick. Ugh. But still, I just can't seem to get the whole sensitivity of jumping. Oh, there we go. I just gotta get used to playing with the analog stick again. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now, if you feel you are ready. He's just gnawing on a... on a watermelon? I mean, okay. Let's go! Oh 
Okay. Oh god! I missed the first time? What? Okay then! I used to do this with my eyes closed, busy much. Come on. There we go. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, shit, the wall. Oh, no, the wall again. I can't turn with the analog stick fast enough. Oh, I missed. When did I lose sparks? Froze for a second. Where is it? Hold on. Is everything okay with the stream? Okay, that's weird. Seems that I've had a connection problem for a second, but it's okay. Situational awareness is everything for this game. Seems to be okay? Okay, that's good. Oh, I didn't even get to hit you, buddy. Wall has fucked me over. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Well, Toasty's got the weight. Ah, that fucking wall. Can't get hit. Hey, come on, buddy. Hey, 
You gotta kick me. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, definitely shows my rust. Was that all the worlds? I don't feel like it was. No, no, we're missing Stone Hill. I lied, this was my favorite world. <laughs> this is the first world I ever tried. I played it at Toys R Us. Um, on a television set for, for its, um, its release date. I think I was... I had, I was eight. I was eight years old. Had to have been Azorian Fall River at the time. Situational awareness! Come back here! Wait, let's get that one too while we're here. Free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Uh, I wanted to turn. Why? Wow. Okay, so if you pull back to like do a really, really tight turn. It won't register as you turning. Ah, shit! Normally I can him. Ah. Okay, I really hate the analog on this. I'm not used to this. Oh my god. I don't know why it is. Oh, now it's fine. I have no idea why it keeps doing that. Spyro, my friend. We've had, uh, connection problems for the past couple of days, so I'm not surprised, actually. Press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. What are you gonna do with that gigantic paintbrush? Oh, 
Come here. Oh, this is gonna be really long. <laughs> gotcha. What else is out here? I know I'm missing some. The grass kind of makes it hard. Oh, there's some. The gems used to stand out so well because we didn't have grass. <laughs> it was just texture. I think there is a- aha! I think that's everything. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! Oh, hi! I'm missing one. I'm always missing one. Ugh. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. All right, let's see what we got. <coughs> yeah. We got all the, the dragons that we needed. And the one single dragon, the toasty. What's interesting to note, this guy never had a voice actor till now. Wow! I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Kaboom! Yay! The first world done.